Your power's a weak old man. You can't win, Darth. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> my friends went out and nobody was like trying to get at us nobody showed interest nobody anything and a guy duetted it or stitched it and he actually said well look what you women have done like this is what you wanted correct so i want to piggyback off of that ladies y'all not all of y'all but you guys wanted this whole oh leave us alone you guys are perverts you guys are weirdos like we hate men thing you guys are on this fucking bandwagon to like you hate men what is the fucking goal of this? What is the point of this? Because you know what you guys are doing? You're ruining it for the women who do want to be approached. You're ruining it for the women who are shy and do want that guy to come up to them. Does that make sense? And you're also ruining it for the guys who are great guys, have great intentions. Maybe they're just nervous when they come up to you. So they're shy and like anxious and you take that as them being a pervert or a weirdo. Where does this lead up to? Like I honestly want to know what the whole point of this is because at this point it's going to come to a... Nobody wants to come up to you. No, nobody's going to talk to you. Nobody's going to try with you. And everybody's going to be thinking, damn, he's not interested in me. So ladies, you guys wanted men to back down from it. So are you guys going to step up to the plate? Are you guys going to start asking guys out? No. Are you guys going to start going up to dudes and saying, hey, you know, let me take you out to dinner. How about you come over to my place at 8 o'clock and I'll have dinner made for you. What's your favorite food to eat? I'll make it for you. I highly doubt that's going to happen. But my whole point of this is I'm not understanding the whole I hate men movement. Because in the end, what does this do for us? Especially like if you have kids and you have sons, you're teaching your sons to hate men because you hate men. I don't get that. Like, can somebody like explain this to me? Because I really don't get how this is all working out in anybody's favor. Because I feel bad for all the good guys that are out there. And then I feel bad for the women who are very shy and want a guy to approach them. But now there's guys not approaching them because of women who have ruined this whole little thing. <laughs> clip that you just heard was from World Star Hip Hop. There's a bunch of these that are floating around complaining about men not noticing them or men not approaching them or men not being what they used to be so i guess the the wall of silence is falling and now the wall of indifference is actually up now because the brothers are just not like i said like the, she said they're just not approaching them they're not checking for them they're not, they're not having checking for them at all and and one brother that said this is what you wanted this is what you asked for now you're getting it like i said be careful what you wish for i remember that I think it was a few years ago, about six years ago, the OK Sis thing where about street harassment and club harassment and then turned into Me Too. And then on top of that, if you do approach a woman, she's got an attitude. And this is well before that. I, this is, goes back, I guess, good grief, got at least 12 years where a woman online asked me how come men don't approach? How come men don't talk to them? Uh, how come men don't check for them anymore? And this is like this has been going on 12 years. I said I said look look on your face. I said black women aren't friendly. Black women aren't nice. So this started happening with Generation X, even before the millennials. And as as we go further along and get down into the Z's and the A's, <laughs> it is what it is. So this woman is obviously at least a Generation Z, and it's like that other girl outside the USC that saw a guy and says that he probably doesn't even date black women or doesn't even notice black women. And so now black women have the reputation that they earn. They earn their reputation being mean, being hostile, looking down on their men, or what used to be their men, I don't think it's their men anymore. Having that low level of contempt, you know, so if they get with a guy, they say they're settled, if they've settled. Talking about divesting. So I guess black men beat black women to the punch. Black men have divested in mass numbers as it seems because you know, i know uh, this has been an issue for my son my son is is 35 and i have never seen him with a black woman ever this goes all the way back to the prom i've never seen him with a black woman so we're talking about 18 to 20 years i've never seen him with a black woman so this has been going on a long time it's just gaining momentum and gaining mass as the sign language is not working on black men anymore it's not but it doesn't work on boomers and Xers, and it damn sure doesn't work on millennials, and it surely doesn't even get on the radar of Generation Z. It's not even a conversation.
to the point where they get into a club, they're not even checking for black women if they go to the club at all. So the cheats, the cheat code, which is sex or the possibility of sex, which is what black women have been working with for the last, I would say, 30 years or so, the possibility of sex. Now, women, black women are going to have to court their men. As she said at the very end of that little segment, are you going to approach the guy? Are you going to ask him out? Are you going to ask him over to eat? Invite him over to have dinner. That's courting. That's what black women used to do. They used to make a dish for it. They used to send something. Time I, you know, when I was younger, to be courted, they would actually send a dish. Something that they made to prove that they could cook, prove that they were worthy. I used to get actually courted. Women used to vie for my attention when I was younger. That's how they got, that was the indication that they were interested in you. It wasn't what you approached them and they said something mean. That's how come cold approaching the street game worked back then. It wasn't the snarkiness. You know, black women have always been Klingons, but at least it was under control. It's not this full on out Klingon war that's going on between black men and black women. And black women are getting their just desserts. You would have thought that it would have gotten better between black men and black women as time went on. But instead of getting better, it seems like it's gotten worse and black women are descending into hell to the point that nobody wants to be around them. They, they look at love and hip hop and they look at all these reality shows and they see how black men and women are talking to each other, how they're talking to their men. And they think they can go out in real life and do that kind of stuff. Contraire, you see it's not working. And that's to the point, black women is just an open rebellion. I'm going to wear the most ostentatious weave, the most ostentatious color. All the stuff that, that black men do not like, I'm going to do. Now it's to the point where I'm going to wear bonnet and pajamas. Why? Not because it's what is fashionable or what is appropriate. It's because black men don't like it. So if black men don't like something, we're just, just actually going to do more of it. And then get mad when black men don't come around and black men don't check for them. One thing black women can not say is that their reputation is not well earned. It is. It is. And it is by all, by all races. Okay. You think you're being ugly to your men and you're being snappy to your men and snarky to your men and treating them bad and treating your own sons bad. And you think another man is going to choose you from another race. You think that the white men and Latino men are going to dig in black man's trash and dig something out that there wasn't any good to them to a black man in the first place. And like Officer Charles says, black men are garbage men in the dating world. We'll date anything. Which on the flip side is bad for us because we get the rejects from other races coming at us like, oh, like we're supposed to take them. Fat white girls, fat Latinas say, okay, if I can't date anybody else, I can date a black guy because he'll accept anything. And we have that reputation. And I've seen black guys that are thirsty enough to do it. So you already got guys with, with lower standards as far as beauty and attitude and all that kind of stuff with lower standards and you still can't retain them? You still can't get them to check for you? How bad must you be if it's that low? If the bar is that low and you still can't go get over it, how bad must it be? So you think you're gonna have an easy test, a low bar, and you're gonna pass a higher bar? Does that make any sense? But then again, black women don't make sense. They don't and they haven't. And it, it is a trip. It is a trip to see this kind of culture play out amongst our women. And you would think as things get better, and that's what tripped out the morning hand, you would think as get, things get better, black women would get better. They'd be more agreeable and more cooperative with their men because times are better. These chicks get worse, which I don't understand. The more money a black woman gets, the worse she gets. She doesn't get better, she gets worse. The more comfortable the surroundings are, they don't get better, they get worse. And then they sit on their, you know, then they get uh, high and they cry into their pillow that nobody loves me. And they wonder why. Black women as a group have developed into some horrible people. We saw that with the elite black women when the Kamala Harris was running for election. With the elite black women uh, pushing for the Democrats, they actually demonstrated some of the most horrible behavior toward their men in public on national TV. Condescending, snarky, arrogant, insulting, emasculating, horrible, horrible behavior. Horrible behavior. 
And then they blame us. They blame black men who hold up the mirror as the reason that they have a bad reputation. Like nobody else can see it but us. Oh, uh, ignore it. I'm just talking to my man. Oh, I don't treat you that way. Okay, I fight, I fight only him. And when you ask them what the reason for is, they don't have one. You act because Kevin, night after night after night, with single mothers, ask who left. 80% of the time, 90% of the time, it's the woman. And we ask them why. They can't really give you a reason, except they weren't happy or just it just didn't work out. And they always ask, well, why'd you have two babies by him if it didn't work out? And they're dumbfounded. Here's what it is. And there's many of videos that are on Warstar Hip Hop and TikTok and, and Twitter, just tons of them. At some point, black women will come to the light and will come to realization and kind of uh, adjust, at least adjust the way they handle things. Okay? Can't do anything about the attitude. That's internal. That's something that's baked into the cake and has been passed down from generation to generation. Can't do anything about that. But you can be cooperative. You can be nice. You can be gracious. You can do that in any social social circumstance. And if, if you can do that for people that are strangers that you really can't stand, how come you can't do it for the men that you love? Just a thought. But with that, I'm going to jump off here. This is BGSL, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.